expo completed successfully so now we have csv we have json and let's do pascal so you go back to your export settings and you change it to every single model is trained with data and getting the data is not the hard part because there are lots of places where you can get your data from but what happens if you want to try a problem that hasn't been labeled before what happens if you can't get the kind of data set that you actually need well that means you have to create your own data set and uh, that's that's all we're gonna do today so there are two ways to do this either you do this manually or you use new softwares that can actually label for you so if you're a corporation and you want to label your own images then you could you could pay people to label these images manually or you could go the automated way but if this is just a personal project then um yeah de definitely uh try this try this tool now what's what's the reason for choosing microsoft vottt well i this this it just works right it's lightweight it's um <laughs> it just works one thing you should notice i'm not going to be doing this real time so this is more like a voiceover to a screen record that i made about three months ago somewhere around about three months ago all right so the first thing you need to do is you download and install microsoft vottt which is the application that we're going to be using uh go to the github link and you scroll down to the readme you're going to find the only fifth nitty of libel exports train deploy validate model like the fifth nitty of uh, computer vision no well, not exactly everything but uh I'm running a 64-bit Windows system, but Microsoft provided a 32-bit version, but it works, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Just 93 megabytes, so download and install. Now we're at the documentations page, and it just lays out every single thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video. When you launch the application, this is pretty much what you're going to see. You can open a cloud project, a new local project or you can open a previous project that you are working on so for this uh, tutorial we're going to open a new project and um, you give the project settings uh, for display name <laughs> I'm wondering what I did here random man this is this was meant to be a joke but now it, it it's not even funny to me so you just set your display name your adding connection is more like where is this image coming from so the file the folder where you keep your images this is where you link that folder into microsoft vottt now you don't have to add tags now because you can always add tags later on your project especially when you actually start to um draw your annotations yeah right right at the top you find tools that you are going to be working with you have um, a cursor tool you have cursor you have rectangle segmentation cut um, import exports to and on the left you have um, same thing home page connection settings export settings and uh, we're just going to we're, we're actually going to just explore this uh, a lot more later now it's time to actually create the tags that you want to create and for for this for this first image i am going to go for the rectangle tool now the rectangle tool is if if you if you if you've, if you've um, worked with data sets that have human faces labeled this is this is pretty much how you just uh, this is pretty much how you do it it works pretty much like uh like photoshop and at the top right corner you add your tag and for another weird reason <laughs> i named this man face now this is this is where it gets finicky kind of because you have to click um, you have to click this rectangle and then the tag and then you have to click the rectangle again and then the tag it it's it's just it's just kind of finicky so you may have to try this just a couple of times to get it to work and uh, yeah next thing is to try out the polygon tool how the polygon tool works is instead of having rectangles you can actually label the object that you want so this is this is this is common in uh segmentation image segmentation so logically you'd want to zoom in into the image to see what you're about to label but this is this is another downside of 
Microsoft BOTT because the zooming in and zooming out, it, it, it doesn't make sense. So to start using the tool, all you have to do is select the tool and select um, as, as, as careful and as slowly as you can do it, just select uh, the edges of the object you want to you want to label so I'm going for the baseball cap and uh, the same method as before you select and you create a new tag so for this um, I'm going to name this baseball cap right and again you select you select the label and the tag and uh, <laughs> as many times as you have to do it to get it to work So this this might be a good time to actually follow best practices when you're labeling. I found this article annotating with bounding boxes boxes <laughs> boxes is <laughs> annotating bounding boxes. I'm going to link this article in the description so that you can read and you follow best practices when you want to do your own um custom image annotation. So that's that's actually that's i think that's that's majorly what you need right bounding boxes and polygon so and um uh, i think from there i just went on to label random stuff <laughs> okay so this is this is a face man face um you can you can also pretty much rename a tag so if you if you don't like man face you can you can change it to joma uh who the hell is joma and another tip would be to always make sure again you're following the best practices because right here i discovered i i think i wasn't doing it properly so i just had to search how to properly annotate faces and yeah i was i was right i was i was doing the wrong thing because that's that's now you label faces yeah you can also you can also erase annotations just select uh, select the box and click the little x button by the top right corner and you can redo your label and yeah keep keep it going all right so now it's time to export and uh by default it, it exports to json i believe yes json and you can always change it to whatever format they want you can change it to csv you can change it to i think pascal i think it, it has about five different uh formats that you can change your exports your exported <laughs> your export to ah all right so yeah, you save you save your export settings and then you go to this last icon at the top to export. And when the export's done, you have this um export completed successfully uh, message. So now we have CSV, we have JSON and let's do Pascal. So you go back to your export settings and you change it to Pascal VOC. So going back to the folder, you have your image set, you have JPEG uh you have annotations uh i think yes you, you do have some in in txt file txt format and xml right so yeah honestly that's that's pretty much it uh, just go back through go through every uh every single level that you made and and if you go back to your project settings you you discover we have more tags now so look to the right corner you have uh five tags i believe one two three four okay we have we have we have four tags we have joma baseball cap person uh small joma if if you're going to do this by the way make sure you use mature tags uh, you can use you can use ones and uh, you can use numerics like uh one two three four so your faces could be one uh, it's just like just like fashion feminist. If you look at fashion feminist data set, yes, yes, fashion feminist. I believe uh, bags could be maybe ones, shoes, twos, uh, pants, trousers. I call it trousers. Uh, trousers could be five, and uh, yeah, that's 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 honestly. 
I, I think we're done. We're done. I really, I, I hope I was able to, I hope I was able to squeeze this video into 10 minutes. Oh. If you're going to be doing this, just have it in the back of your mind that it's, it's long. It, it could be boring. And, uh, hey, subscribe.